So hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So in our previous video we have saw uh, about the path parameters in Postman and now in this video we will be seeing how you can generate uh, the code snippets for the various uh, programming languages uh, for your API call that you have made in the Postman right. So let me go ahead into my Postman and I will quickly click on the new request which is on uh, untitled request and I will just paste the URL uh, that uh, will get from here. I will just get the URL from here. This is uh, and by the way, this is our Regress API, which is a dummy API that we have used in our previous video itself. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go and check out the previous videos of this tutorial series first, and then come here and watch. Uh, by, because you don't get anything if you directly watch this video. Okay. So I will just paste the endpoint over here and after that I will just uh, write the question mark and I want to fetch the page number 2. Okay and since it is a get request I don't uh, have to pass any other parameters instead of the page which is 2 and if I hit send uh, yeah it, it, it is success 200 okay. Okay and everything works fine uh, I am getting the user switch are there in the second page like user like right from the user numbers id 7 till the user 12 okay so these are the users that are there in the page 2 okay so these works we are doing inside uh, the postman uh, we are trying to testing our api okay so for so same same kind of thing you, you can do in uh, various programming languages and you can the postman has the feature to generate the code snippets required for your a, this API call to get run inside that language okay so what you need to do uh, when you have done with this API call you just need to come here and click on this uh, code section code button if you click on this code button let me just uh, give you more space to this so that you can understand clearly and if you just come over here you can see a bunch of languages are supported over here right from the c sharp to the swift uh, php r ruby shell uh, node.js uh, javascript is there java is there and c url is also there dart is also there you can generate any code in any programming language like if i say uh, okay if i want to generate uh, the code for this uh, API call in the Java with the OK HTTP uh, this class okay so OK HTTP client okay so it will automatically give me generate the code so that I can just copy this code and if I go inside my IntelliJ and I paste that uh, entire code inside my main method uh, I just need to import this um, this required classes like here you can see this the this in class is not imported yet. if I just import all these classes and uh, run this code the uh, the output that I will be getting is the similar kind of output that I am getting over here as well okay similarly if you just go here and uh, say I just want the code for this API call in node.js native okay right here you can see uh, all the code you will get you just need to copy and use that code inside your project right and uh, a, a node just request code is also there you can generate uh, any uh, code in any of the programming language you have seen over here by the way python is a python support is also there you can generate this entire uh, uh, request code in uh, python using the http uh, uh, library of the python okay and after that uh, I will show you one example uh, using C URL. If I, if you just click on the C URL, C URL you will get this uh, little code. You just click on the copy, and uh, after clicking on copy, now if uh, there are two ways to open the import section. Okay, one is the shortcut that is Control O. If you press Control O on your keyboard, you will get this import bar or import tab over here, and uh, if you don't want to get the shortcut then you can just go click on this three dots file and then come to the import similar either way you click ctrl o or just go to the file and go there 
and what is saying is a paste your CURL raw text or URL you can paste any one of this we have our CURL you just need to paste it over here and as soon as I paste control uh, paste control V uh, the new tab will get open which is as, as similar to the page that uh, tab you are getting over here and uh, our request will automatically get fetched all the query parameters are also getting fetched I just need to hit the send button and, and I will get the same output that I am getting over here as well okay so this is the uh, CURL part you can use any of these programming language you just need to click on that and it will postman will automatically give you the code for that uh, programming language for that request that you have made inside the postman okay so this is how uh, you can generate the code for various programming language and use that in use them in your project okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one